Okay, everyone, Monday morning here over in North Queensland and it's boiling hot as usual. Okay, I've got a, uh, obviously an iPhone 6. Looks like it's been bent something serious there. Uh, you can see that. Nice chunk taken out of the side due to it being flexed up. Uh, but this one's actually been dropped in water about three weeks ago, apparently. And I ran along, the screen was misbehaving, which is to be expected. And another place has replaced the screen after scrubbing the connectors, and now the thing barely turns on at all. And basically, it just. Let's see what happens. Well, yep, that's all it does. So, I guess we're going to have to dig in and see what we've got. Still no gloves. I know, it's like. Uh, very first thing I'd say is the battery is probably cactus. You can see uh, it's got a. It's not smooth anymore, it's ripply and it's a little bit thicker than it should be. But um, it looks like the backlight's still running. Okay, well, that's probably going to mean the whole thing's a bit beyond my current uh, workshop facilities, which is unfortunate. But we'll see what we can do. Get that off. Ah. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to wearing gloves. Now I can't stand not having them. It just feels so wrong. At least with this one, I was told that it was just uh, river water. So thank God for that. I really hate it when people drop water damage phones off to me. And then they don't tell me the water damage is actually toilet damage. Oh, whoops, wrong colour. Now I know it's a bit silly and everything, but I do like to colour mark all the screw heads. The last thing I want to do is get a screen up uh, long screw damage. Just in case I accidentally say knock the screws off the pad here or anything. It's just being pedantic, covering my ass, things like that. Better to take five seconds to do that than to stuff it up and yeah, be down quite a lot of money. Because if you do that, it's your fault. Okay, let's have a look. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the connectors seem clean enough, which really doesn't bode well. I can't feel any actual heat build up. I know it's off now, but just in that short time it was running. If there was a short, I would have felt the heat. <laughs> well, they haven't cleaned the USB connector. There's a bit of corrosion going on in there. Let's see what's under the camera. Come in. Yeah, same for the camera too. So, let's see if we can show this. Yeah. The light's really in the wrong place, but there's some pretty hefty corrosion going on here. That's no, and naturally it's out of the view of the camera there. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright. Now, uh, let's see, let me get my corrosion killer. Now, sometimes I used to use fiberglass pen to clean out these, but I found it a bit aggressive. So instead, what I do is I go a good old bamboo toothpick, shave off about half, and it leaves, gives it a nice, thin edge and let's see just give it some alcohol not a lot so we need we should be able to just run that along the contacts here looks like I haven't made this one thin enough is that what's going on 
I should point out, I didn't get much sleep last night. It seems to be the issue of the day for most technicians. And uh, I'm feeling a little bit fuzzy and slow. <laughs> okay, that, that's a bit better, a bit finer. Back into the alcohol. I really should be doing this under the microscope that I don't have. Uh, that's not coming out right, so I'm going to have a look at that under the um, magnifying glass light I have. I've uh, cleaned off what I can for the moment. I may have to ultrasonic this. Hopefully not. So get that camera out of the way. Just see if we can get it to do more than the initial Apple logo. I'm suspecting it won't, but Hey, who knows? Because if I need to ultrasonic this, I've got to take the shields off. Because it's pretty useless putting it in ultrasonic if you don't put the shields off. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, she's cactus. Well, this is a pretty good example. I know we haven't really fixed it here. And this is a good example of why I don't do water damage repairs like for the person to keep using the phone. Because this was obviously repaired um, with the connectors being cleaned and new screen being put on a couple of weeks ago whenever the damage occurred. And now it's dead and more than likely the person hasn't backed up their data because the person who originally serviced this didn't tell them you know you should back up your data uh, yeah, as soon as the phone's water damage the very first thing you do you get that data backed up because it's you're going to lose that uh, there are enough the trouble is there are enough anecdotal stories about people who managed to save their phones by just leaving it in rice for a week or whatever which of course the rice does nothing really uh, and it works uh, yeah that happens but 99% of the time people just lose their phones their data when they really probably didn't have to now, if they've just been told straight up look you've got water damage you need to back up your data the phone probably isn't going to oops there you go look at that I just ruined it now uh, the problem isn't going to magically go away you just have to um, write it off. I mean, sure, if it works for now, great, but uh, you're really, for the most part, living on borrowed time. And from a service point of view, you're telling people that their phones are just fine after you've scrapped them up from water damage, it's, yeah, it's false hope. Um, that's going to come back to you probably 75, 80% of the time later on, and people are going to be pissed off with you because you know, you've charged them a bunch of money and the phone still didn't last that long. All right, I'm going to write this up, tell the person what's happening, and uh, they may um, ask me to try and get the data off, and if that's the case, I'm just going to have to take this out, and I will probably at this point send it off to someone else, um, yeah, because like so I'm not really yet equipped to do it. Uh, technically, sure, you know, I know what I'm trying to do, I just don't have the equipment to do it. So, oh well, sad story for the start of Monday, but yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.